Today we're going to talk about introducing your new dog to the cats in the household. So I owned cats long before I owned dogs, and so I have been through the process of introducing all of my Dobermans to a cat household. I do firmly believe that most dogs, although not all, um, can be trained to live with cats. It just takes time, patience, and consistency. Going in, you need to set some expectations about whether you expect your dog and cat to be best friends or just reach a point where they can live safely together. If you do expect your cat and dog to be best friends, it's probably better to get a dog who you know has lived successfully with cats, and it helps if you know that the cat has lived with dogs as well. When I say it takes time, remember that I'm talking in terms of weeks and months, not days. Like I said, it really helps if cats are familiar with dogs and do not run. Never let the dog have an opportunity to chase the cat because once they see how much fun it is, that's going to be a really hard impulse to break and it's not fair to the cat to put them through the fear of being chased by a dog. Remember that cats take longer to adapt to new situations than dogs, so it might take them up to six months to adjust. Before you bring the dog home, you need to make sure that the cats have a way to get away from the dog. So that means using secure baby gates, things like cat doors, and then areas that are too high for the dog to reach, like cat towers. You also need to make sure that the cat can access their food, water, and litter box without having to run a dog gauntlet to get to them. So the approach I take is to utilize a leash and keep the dog on a leash at all times when they come to your house. So um, that allows you to be able to redirect the dog whenever it stares or fixates on the cat. And then when it looks at you, instead of the cat, you reward the dog. Um, you need to prepare to spend up to a month with the dog on a leash or as they start adjusting on a drag line. I was maybe two weeks in with my dog Lysa and I thought she is never going to get this. She was so um, reactive to the cats, fixated on the cats. And then I told myself, you know what, dogs can be trained to find bombs and I can train her to do this. And I was right. And then she became very close friends with my cat in the end. Um, so it can work if you take the time and don't lose patience. When you can't be home to monitor the situation, make sure you put the dog and the cats in different parts of the house and ideally crate the dog for everyone's safety. Now there are a small number of dogs who are too aggressive towards cats to ever live with them, but most cats with most dogs with consistency can learn to do this. Um, keep in mind that even once your dog gets to a point where they get along with your cats, that doesn't mean that they will get along with all cats. So when you take your dog to, you know, a friend's house or a family member's house that has a cat, make sure you go back to using that leash or the drag line to make sure everyone is safe. Um, now, if your cat is so upset that they're not eating, or if you're not seeing improvement after a month or two, I do recommend consulting a behaviorist for more advice. Just remember to take, to stay patient. It takes time um, and don't lose heart. So good luck with it and I'll see you next time.